Good evening everybody, it's your pal Martin Millard here. Hope you're all going well. It's been a day of wild weather here in London. Sunny, rainy, windy, and all. But it's also been a day of sad news in the heavy metal community. The passing of Mike Howe of Metal Church. And this passing affects me deeply because I got to see Metal Church. Now, for all those people who don't know much about Metal Church, Mike Howe was like the second singer of Metal Church. So he joined just after David Wayne left and, and he recorded all the albums, Blessing the Skies, The Human Factor, Hanging in the Balance. And before he joined Metal Church, he was with this band, Heretic, which I would have seen at Headbangers Open Air if I'd gone there in 2013. So, Mike Howe, we joined Metal Church in 2016 to record XI, or 11, and then they also released the live album in 2017, Damned If You Do, and From the Vaults in 2020. Now, I had a plan last time I emigrated to the United Kingdom. And this is before I came back in December 2016. So here's what my scenario was. I wanted to visit the Philippines in May 2016. And then after looking around the Philippines, I would like fly cheaply to London and restart my British life living in Birmingham. Due to personal reasons back home in Australia and a bit of sadness and upsetness with my relatives in the north, I decided to leave Australia in April 2016. I decided I wanted to come back to Birmingham and I want to be in London on the 10th of May 2016 just to see Mill Church at the Underworld in Camden. So I did what you usually do, you leave Sydney behind, you go to Asia for a couple of days, and then you get on the cheap flight via Vietnam to London Heathrow. So then in the space of a week, I moved into a house in Birmingham. I went to meet up with Johnny Blair from Don't Stop Living. And I also went to the grave of John Bonham in Rushnock. But then a week out from the gig in London, I had a huge falling out with my housemates. I just... Couldn't stand living with them, didn't like them criticizing me that I, was, that I wasn't showering or that my room had odors and I literally told them all to F off. So I was quite sad and all at the time of my life. I just walked out of a house after I moved in and I'd only been there for eight days and I still hadn't got a job yet. I still hadn't been part of the British society for that long, I couldn't claim benefits. So I went to the Camden Underworld on the 10th of May 2016, and I remember the opening song was Fake Healer. And I thought to myself, like, I had never ever listened to a metal church album in my life. And I thought, this is such a good song. And so, like, I, I was mishearing the lyrics a bit, and uh, I, I thought it was, you know, like, a dealer or something like that. And I was really happy that I got to see Mel Church in London that year, even though I left the UK, like, a month later after seeing King Diamond, I eventually moved back to the UK at the end of 2016. And so Metal Church came back to London in 2017, but I decided not to go, I thought. It's not worth my money, I've already seen it. And now, Mike Cow has left this earth. And he is the second member of Metal Church to pass on in the last well, the 16 years. I mean, David Wayne died after suffering injuries from a car accident in 2005. So, so Mark Howe is gone. So... In honor of Mike Howe, rest in peace. God bless. Everybody look after yourself. I'm Martin the Millhead.
over and out.